video contains awesome life hack selections about how to use a hot glue gun for making cool crafts. Let's make a charming little chick to start with. We'll need two pom-poms of different size. We showed a few ways of how to make these fluffy little balls in one of our previous tutorials. Hot glue the pom-poms. Wonderful! The body is ready. Now, make a beak. Drop a little hot glue onto a metal base. A spoon or fork handle will do. Let the glue flow down to form a beak shape. When cool, continue shaping it with your fingers. You can touch the hot gun nozzle to make it smooth. Remove the detail from the spoon. Trim the edge. Make another of the same detail to get the lower beak. Make it smaller. Heat a needle over the gun nozzle. Prick the upper beak to make nostrils. Hot glue both parts. Paint the beak with nail polishes. Done! Make hot glue eyes. One, then the other. Cover the eyes with black nail polish. Hot glue the details to the chick's head. Attach the beak. It looks like a real one. Add the eyes. To make the job easier, hold them with tweezers. What a lovely little chick! If you fasten a carabiner, you can put it on your backpack to wear as a cute keychain. You can make pretty round embellishments to decorate the interior articles. We'll need parchment paper. Take a small piece. Carefully, pour the hot glue to shape bead halves. They will look like clear buttons lying on the paper. Cover the whole paper. Prepare a number of nail polishes of different colors. Make sure the glue is hardened and cover the drops in a rainbow of colors. Don't be afraid to put the polish on the paper. These vivid embellishments will help make a smart design item out of a blank mirror. You can use them to decorate vases and different containers. You can use the hot glue gun to help create a cool 3D text effect. Take thick cardstock and foil. Wrap the foil around the cardstock. Smear it with fatty cream. Take the hot glue gun. Don't pull the trigger. Distribute the glue directly with the glue stick. Hold the handle in one hand and push the glue stick with the other. Thus, the glue flow won't stop. It's a more convenient way than writing or drawing with the glue. Write any words or outline any images you want. Wait until hardened. Remove the words. Perfect! It's just what we wanted. You can paint them in different colors and use in scrapbooking. Embellish envelopes, for example. Oh, lovely! It's sometimes difficult to find the right place for the glue gun to keep it at hand, but there's a clever little trick to make it easy. Take a big binder clip and put it in the gun nozzle. It's simple and practical. You can even make a filigree candy dish with the help of the hot glue gun. Do you want to know how? 
Smear the underside of a bowl with the fatty cream. Fill the bottom with the hot glue. Make a net pattern on the sides. It looks like fish scales. Wait until the glue hardens. Carefully take it off with your fingers. Remove the glue from the bowl. You shouldn't be afraid if it breaks unexpectedly. This is a light and flexible candy dish. You can use it to keep candies or handmade supplies like threads or yarns. We've shown the DIY ideas of hot glue phone case decorating in our earlier videos. Now we want to share a smart life hack how to make a smooth glue surface. Apply the hot glue to the phone case. The glue hardened unevenly. The surface is not as smooth as we need. Let's correct it. Take a candle. Hold the glue area over the flame. The melting glue flows out to make the surface flat. Now that's better. The glue is smooth. We can continue decorating. Are you about to make a pretty little DIY gift? It's easy if you get the hot glue gun. Take silk threads of two different colors and a carabiner. Apply some glue to attach the threads. Wrap them around the carabiner. Place the threads without gaps. Add the glue as far as necessary. Wrap the entire carabiner except the fastener. Hot glue the thread ends. Cut off the excess. Open the carabiner to put on a ring. It'll take you a little time and effort to make this cool keychain. Do you need a suitable container to keep your plastic bags in? Make a funny candy-shaped holder. Mark the cardboard roll size to fit the bags. Cut off the excess. Now, let's see how much fabric we need. Take an extra 4 inch wide strip to imitate a candy wrapper. Trim and melt the edges. Hot glue the fabric strips to the ends. Attach the material to cover the entire roll. Fold the edges to make it neat. Hot glue a ribbon to hang the holder. Embellish the holder with the ribbons. Use the hot glue. Put the bag roll inside the candy. Tie the ribbons on the sides to make it look like the candy wrapper. The amusing candy holder will keep your bags from scattering around. And finally, we'll share an incredible trick you can use in decorating. Embellish some area of a photo frame with small hot glue dots. Draw a floral pattern. Repeat it in the hot glue. Line up another area with the glue. When hardened, cover some part of the frame with the foil. Paint the other side white. We'll get an intricate volumetric texture of different artifacts. We hope this hot glue life hack selection will make your DIY activity easier and give you new ideas for your crafts. The hot glue gun is a great tool that except for fastening the details can also be used in creating individual crafts. Write in your comments which hack you will use first. Subscribe to the Trim Trim channel and take advantage of our multiple crafting life hack selections.
Hit the like button and ring the bell to be the first to watch a new video. We are going to share a few awesome ideas of Easter holiday decorating. Let's start with the original way of Easter egg decorating. Cover an empty egg with white acrylic paint as a ground coat. Prepare oil paints mixed with a non-oil-based solvent and a wide glass of water. Dip the painted brush into the water. When touching water, oil paint leaves the brush floating on the surface. Mix different colors. Dip in the egg to get a marble effect. Use various colors and create different marble designs, each having its own unique, intricate pattern. We have called another way of Easter egg decorating the Starry Night. Paint the eggs black. Take a sponge to dab the surface for a space nebula effect. Choose purple first, add blue on top. The paint lightens when dry. This creates a stunning galaxy effect. Flick off the light paint to make the stardust. Decorative Easter eggs covered with the stunning space pattern will add originality to your holiday table. Now, let's make a composition of differently embellished eggs to create a delicate and exclusive decor. Add white glue to the small area. Attach pale green seed beads tightly to each other to cover the entire surface. This egg looks like a true jewel. Paint another egg a monochromatic shade. Juicy green will remind us of spring and become the bright spot of the composition. Leave the third egg snow white, making it brighter by the white paint. Embellish it with a green satin ribbon. Complete the Easter composition with a needle felted wool egg. Embellish it with white buttons. We've got a funny button belt egg. This delicate composition in pastel shades will create a spring Easter holiday atmosphere and become a perfect table decoration. We have shown three variations of Easter egg decorating. You can craft all of them to make your holiday table unforgettable. Now it's the turn of a lovely paper basket. Mark off one inch strips of the same length on a color piece of paper. Cut them out. Repeat for another color. Place the strips one by one to form a square. Take strips of another color and weave the first ones to create a checker pattern. Attach the strip ends starting in the middle of each side. Add the next strips one by one to the glued central ones. The more strips are glued together, the more the construction shrinks, shaping a basket. Let's make handles. Attach strips to the corners. Embellish the basket with ribbon bows. Adhere to the handle base to both decorate the craft and conceal the attachment places. You can put candies and cookies in this pretty basket. Oh, what a fluffy little rabbit! Let's make them right now! Place a small piece of thick yarn on the C-shaped cardboard template. Start wrapping them together. We need to get a tight pom-pom. That's why we should make a lot of wraps. Cut off the yarns across the outer edge. Hold them in the center to keep the pom-pom in place. Tie the yarn pieces in the middle with the thread we wrapped around. Form a ball shape, cutting off the excess. Don't cut off the attaching thread. Make a bigger pom-pom for the body. Tie the pom-poms with the attaching threads. Now you can cut them out. Hot glue a small tail pom-pom to the body. Draw and cut out gray felt ears. Make the pink middle parts a bit shorter and thinner. Attach the details. Hot glue the ears to the head. Add eyes. 
and a nose. Cut out a triangle in the bottom part of the muzzle for a natural look. These funny pom-pom rabbits may be of a different size and color. You can create a whole family. The stunning candle holders will help us create a cozy atmosphere during the holiday. We'll need grains of different colors and shapes, clear glasses of various size, and candles. Choose dark grains for the first layer, linseeds will do. Alternate with white rice and red lentils. Add chickpeas, mung beans, millet grains, and green peas on top. Put in a candle. It's a quick and easy way to make gorgeous candle holders. It's time to make a greeting card. Cut off the strips of the patterned paper. Attach them to a piece of paper without gaps. Draw a rabbit silhouette. Start with a body resembling an oval, then add a head and ears. Trace the rabbit on the striped background. Cut it out. Fold color cardboard in half to make a card base. Attach a piece of light cardstock onto the front side. Stick the rabbit in the center. Don't forget a message paper. We've made a bright and festive rabbit card. You only need to add a few words, and a lovely greeting will become a pleasant surprise to the recipient. Another card will be of an egg shape. Make a white cardboard egg. Trace it on the cardstock of a different color to get a bigger egg. Form a loop from two ribbons to make a petal. Add two more petals to get a flower. Make a V-shaped cut on a paper strip to make a tag. Assemble the card. Attach all the elements. A bright yellow rabbit will become the center of the composition. Add the embellishments. You can put this decorative Easter egg into a food basket or send as a greeting card. One more variation of the Easter card will contain a whole basket of eggs. Mark off half an inch and one inch strips on a piece of paper. Cut out with a craft knife. We need a small square piece of paper to place the strips on. Lay thin strips first, make equal intervals between them, fold and attach the strips on the back. Now, place the wide strips crosswise. Lay the details next to each other without gaps. Weave the strips to form a checker pattern. Fold the loose ends. Cut off the excess. Attach to the back. Make a few different Easter eggs from patterned paper. Wrap a ribbon around the basket and tie a bow. Attach the basket to the base, leaving the top loose. Put the eggs in the basket and attach. Add crumpled brown strips to imitate the straw. You can now attach the loose part. Keep in mind a message paper. You can add a short greeting on the front side. The cute Easter card will remind the recipient of spring for a long time. Can you imagine an Easter holiday without a spring wreath on the door? Certainly not. Place the sisal around the woven twig wreath base. Attach with craft wire in several places. Add a few different color ribbons, winding the base to make the top wreath center. Prepare a number of cardboard leaf templates. Stick a wide piece of double-sided tape across the edge of the scrapbooking paper. Attach the leaves to the tape. Cut them out. Pierce the end of a leaf with a needle. Thread the craft wire and twist the ends. When all the leaves are ready, decorate the wreath. Pass the pin through the base and secure on the back. Form a bow using the ribbon ends. This festive door wreath will bring a bit of the spring mood to your home. And now we're going to plant a whole Easter tree in a pot. We'll decorate it with the eggs and a butterfly. Cover a pot with cotton twine. 
Attach two pieces of wire to the stick, making roots to hold the tree tight inside the pot. Bend the ends to fit the pot. Put the plastic pocket inside to cover the bottom hole. Place the stick inside. Put claydite or small stones into the pot. Pour the plaster of Paris and water mixture into the pot up to half inch off the edges. Now make the crown using crumpled newspapers. Wind around with thread. Attach the foliage from the grass green sisal. Add the sisal grass in the pot. Needle felt Easter eggs to decorate the tree. Make three eggs of different colors. Let's make a felted wool butterfly. Wrap thin wool tufts around a plastic template. Place the wing onto the bubble wrap. Add some soapy water. Sandwich the wing and rub carefully around. When the detail shrinks and shapes the pattern, cut it out carefully across the edge. Open up the butterfly wings. Rinse it in water and dry. Add the body. Sew down imitating the segments. Tack it to make the head. Make an antenna from the thread. Assemble the composition. Attach the butterfly to the crown. The fabulous Easter tree will become a smart part of your interior design. Let two lovely little chicks nest on the holiday eve. Needle felt a ball-shaped chick head. Make a bigger ball for a body. Cut out two small triangles from black faux suede. Stitch them down to form a beak. Cut out two drop-shaped wings from yellow felt. Add a tail. Hot glue the details. Sew down beads to make the eyes. Tack the head to the body. Attach the tail. Decorate the chick with a bow. Make another of the same bird. We'll make an egg from a crumpled piece of newspaper. Wrap around with the threads. Add torn pieces of paper towels into white glue. Mix with your hand until smooth. Smudge over the egg. Let it dry for several hours. Now, cover the egg with a golden acrylic paint. Make it more sparkly. Attach golden and silver foil. Wrap it around with ribbons. Make two more of the same eggs. Let's weave a nest from newspaper tubes. Make them with a knitting needle. Prepare a couple of dozens. Join two tubes to make a longer element. Bend them in a round shape. Increase the tubes and weave the nest. When it keeps shape, start making a bottom. Cover the nest with a golden spray paint. Let it dry. Hot glue the chicks. Make the nest cozy by adding grass. Attach the bright green sisal. Hot glue the eggs. The cozy spring nest will create a wonderful holiday design. You can make a set of nests to make a cute outdoor Easter decoration. And finally, let's make giant eggshell Easter centerpieces. Put some bandage into the mixture of plaster of Paris with water. Let it soak well. Place the dry bandage on a balloon and cover it with the plaster. Attach the soaked bandage on top. Cover about two-thirds of the balloon's surface to imitate a big cracked egg. It'll take several hours for the plaster to dry. And now, the most exciting moment. Boom! Cool! We've got an empty eggshell-shaped bowl. Let's color it inside. Add a bit of gold to make candlelight glitter on the walls. Put the candles inside and use these gorgeous giant eggshells as spring decorations and Easter centerpieces. We hope this awesome selection of Easter decorating ideas will help you create the cozy Easter holiday atmosphere 
both inside and outside your home. There's a great choice of crafts. You can make one or a few, whichever you like. Feel free to comment. We'll be looking forward to knowing your opinion about the crafts you've chosen. Be sure to subscribe to Troom Troom and join the big DIY lover community. Hit the like button if you like the ideas and click the bell.